In today's video, I'll show you how to approve users that have registered on your WordPress website using ProfilePress. And to begin, we'll hover over ProfilePress and go to Add-ons. And here we just want to turn on User Moderation. And once we have done that, we can go to Settings on the left-hand side. We'll click on the User Moderation tab. And here we have our moderation settings and you can use this field to change or edit it. And this is the message that a blocked user will see when they try to log in. And we have similar settings for both a pending and rejected status. And if we take a look on the bottom, we'll see a link that says email settings. And here we have a list of all of the different emails that a user can receive based on their moderation status. So here's a quick example of the account approved email. I'll open it in a new tab. All right, so it's enabled. We have the subject and the body of the message. And if you take a look at the bottom, you'll see a list of placeholders. These placeholders match the signup fields, so you can use them to dynamically display data that was provided by the user during the signup process. So for example, you can say something like, you registered with this email. And once it's sent, the actual email will replace the placeholder. And once you're done editing, you'll just have to save your changes at the bottom. So now I'll just go ahead and demonstrate the signup process so you can see exactly how this works. I will hover over pages on the left hand side and I'll click on all pages. And next I'll go to my profile press login page. I'll just open this in a new incognito window. Now from there I'll click on register at the bottom and I'll just go ahead and fill out this form. Once I'm done, I'll click on register. Now after registering, I'll go back to my other window and I'm also gonna go back to the dashboard and now I have a message saying, Hey admin, one user is pending approval. And if I click on it, it will take me to this page where I can see the user and their details such as the email, the role and so on. And on the left, we have the options to approve or reject the user. We can reset their password. And now if I click on approve, I'll be taken to a page where I can see all of the approved users. And on this page, I will still have moderation options. So for example, if I wanted to block a user, all I would need to do is hover over the user's name. And once the options are revealed, I can click on block. So it's now blocked. And now we have an unblocked option. And remember these status options that we saw earlier. I'm going to show you what that would look like in action. So if I go back to my login page, I'll click on login. And I'll try to log in with a blocked user. Now, if I click on login, I'll see the blocked error message. So if a user was pending, they would see the pending error message. If they were rejected, they would see the rejected error message. Now I'll go back to users and I'll click on unblock to unblock this user. Now I'll go back and log in. And this time it actually works. And here are the different emails that we got. This is blocked and this one is unblocked and there's the approved email. All right, so I hope this video helps you out. Thank you for watching and see you next time.